Knights. What is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to the OU game versus AJ. And ah, it's a good team. And it looks like we, we know we have a decidual week on our hands. It looks to be a very solid mon. However, this is clearly a trick room team, and a lot of mons are gonna punish me for that. So the Sidua looks to be super solid, <laughs> actually. <laughs> uh, besides that, this is actually probably our very my very last week of mons in Sword and Shield. I don't believe going forward here that will be. I I, I probably won't be able to solve that riddle. Uh, that said, um, it's been great uh, having this Wi-Fi battles, and I really hope that um, future game will. Or you know, what do you call it? Yeah. What 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 what's it called? Uh, Diamond and Pearl are uh, well, just as the Veldo Elf. Gonna hope that's a thing in Pokemon and all. All right, God of War is the lead with Freeze, and here's the thing: like Mystical Fire absolutely ruins me, but Polar guys absolutely ruin this. So I hope it isn't Specs. Uh, we do our speed. So it's a- oh, fuck me, really? Huh. Well, bring it down to the Sash, at least, with ease. Uh, but now the Sash, by the way, is gone, so Poultry Guys won't work anymore. Let's see, and Frick Room. Here we go. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter... Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Jelly time, jelly time, jelly, jelly, jelly time. So, it's by design really slow, I'm sure. So I'm gonna switch out. I cannot see Destiny Bar being a thing. And I think we're able to outslow my opponent with the Gegamogan. Destiny Vaughn, yeah. How about that? How about that? So we're toxic here. <laughs> I refuse to die to a Destiny Vaughn. Uh, probably gonna be forced to so so can move last or thunderbolt whatever. Let's see teleport. Huh. Well, all right. I take it. So it's not a switch anymore. <laughs> that was weird. That was really weird. Um. I was just about to say like Marowak seems to be a really solid switching. Um. Thing is, I don't really have a switch into this either. Like Nisanug, maybe. Yeah, it's still gonna hurt. It's gonna prolong like the turns of. He uh, should go for Shadowbone or Polar Guys. I'm sure. Uh, oh, Dynamax! How about? <laughs> really? Does Fit Club work during Dynamax? That's the question. Maybe that's the wrong question, but okay. Um. Huh. Well, let's think about this. All right, so he burned his Dynamax, which is great. And oh, this is gonna hurt like a lot. Thick club and all. Oh, hey, yeah, that looks about right. Please tell me the trick room is over. Oh, one more turn. My defense going down is not pretty. I kind of want to negate him if I can, right? Ah! Uh, <laughs> what can I do? I don't want to take a hit. Fuck, yeah. I'm down to max myself and max Garden. I still lose Nisanug, uh, unfortunately. But at least I burn his Dynamax, I burn his Trick Room, I get a good hit in. And we'll take it from there. Because I really don't want to sack play through this, I don't see the points. I really wanted to roost, but Defense Decrees really isn't helping. So I die to this while he get a good hit, or I get a good hit in. Or he sack plays the God of War, which probably seems more likely. Yeah. Just about to say, really. Um, oh, 
now I'm going to levitate you piece off. So, with this in mind, I probably can't preserve my Hydreigon because Assumeril seems to be like the most solid switch in with Orca Jet, right? And I'm pretty sure, or I am convinced, I should be able to. So, oh, it goes for Yirashi. That was weird. Can he outspeed is the question. Consider how fast he switched that in, I would say so. Go into Gegamogan. Um, because Gegamogan is actually really solid. <laughs> it can soak a lot of hits. Um, I'm pretty convinced we're looking at um, a speedy Urashi with U-turn. Trick Room. Oh, I should just Star Pulse then. Maybe. So I assume teleport. Still, a liquidation seems to be a good move overall. Pretty surprised about that play, um, honestly. Though he got me, like, I clearly got flustered and uh, switched out. The only positive part here is I should outspeed <laughs> in this environment. Um, so he maybe is forced to make a big switch out, or switch out. Now I'm looking at what can I do versus a uh, Sumeril, which... Alright, he stays in. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but I'm definitely gonna do something. Yeah, looks good. So U-turn or teleport. Healing Wish. Ah, that was weird. No, he brings something that can uh, outlive it, such as a Sumeril with... Oh, a Marowak. Polter guys will do a whole lot. Ugh. I think I'll use Soak just to ruin uh, his stabs. Let's see, it's gonna do a whole lot, isn't it? Yeah, oh my god. At least now you're a water type. <laughs> Alright, so Poltergeist is absolutely ruining me. Um, Alright, liquidation, sack plane, of course. <sighs> I mean, without the stabs, I hope I can just ruin his damage output. But I'm still die to this. It is whether or not Hadragon can survive his stab output. And I can roost away the turns. Let's see. Still got one more trick room on his sleeve. Don't want to risk Nisanu, I really don't. So bring in Rinwell and flip turn. At least by design, I should be able to. Because we we'll have one more turn here, right? Yeah. Not necessarily super worried, just need a free. The free turn. I really hope he stays in and go for pull through, guys. If he switches out, I mean, that's fine too. We gotta deal with the Sumeril, which is definitely not something I enjoy. Oh, he is thinking, though. It's a cool team. Like, I really love what AJ is bringing to the table. Uh, and it puts a lot of pressure on me on, you know, on a fundamental level. Right, goes for pull through, guys. Like I said, it will still do a lot because of Fit Club, but not nearly as much as... Oh my god, I'm lying. I'm lying to myself. Alright, flip turn. Nice. So he's gonna get the Healing Wish. Which we've been waiting on, and I'm gonna bring in Nisenug. Let's see. Oh wait, he has to switch out to get it. Roosting. Because um, his best play should be a Sumeril. Which, by the way, is always the best play. Um, Glastrier, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's probably better. <laughs> okay. Flash Cannon will still do a lot, but I definitely want a better turn here. Erasure would be kind of nice. 
Five four can definitely step up here. Question is, consider a combination that um, this man is. Um, it's so problematic. It has stopped in tantrum, I'm sure. Isol Crusher resisted. I don't want his chilling name to be an aspect I have to deal with. He goes thinking long, though, so I'm pretty sure it goes for close combat. It's rather safe. Yeah. Uh, hey. Still gonna live it, though. Just saying. And I. Every move I go for is super effective. Yeah, I should close cover myself. I think. Marowak or Cresselia comes in, yeah. But Cresselia can't do anything to me. Or it can, but really what what to expect, right? I can always Iron Head here and just try to flinch him. <sighs> we can just go for a kill, I'm sure. Um... Damn, Cresselia is really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> para flinch, para flinch, para flinch. Not even once. So now we have speed. So I expect Lunar Dance or something that kills me. Here we go. Lunar Dance, nothing to it. So that's now a Healing Wish and a Lunar Dance behind him. And I just need to soak this whole matchup somehow. Which will probably be impossible for me. Marowak comes in. Right. Healing Wish is gonna kick off. Or is it a Lunar Dance? Let's see. Something came on. He got both. Alright, what will he do? He got both Lunar Dance at... That was weird. So now he has to make the best of his remaining mons. Asumaril. Marowak. And Glastrier. All at full power, but no one of them can set up another Trick Room. So I own the speed tier after this, if I manage to live this, which is... Hardly possible. <sighs> Just such a big hit. Alright, can I even beat the remaining mods? I think Nishinu just can roost. Like, it will still do a lot and probably more than I want to, but at this point, I just want to beat the turns, right? That's gotta make more sense. Withdraws, damn it. To Glastrier. Probably been better off just, damn it. Um, you can just keeps close combating, I'm sure. Just one more turn of Trick Room, which works for me. Just don't think I can do that much. Erasure's Body Press will not impress anybody. Rinwell absolutely dies here. But I definitely don't need it for remaining months. This glass here is so bulky. It is unreal. Icicle Spear. Yeah, I can not even take two of those. Here we go. Here comes the Chilling Nay. And now it doesn't have any speed, which sounds great and all. But I need a Scorching Sandbird. 
That's a combination I never thought I'd say. Body press won't do anything here. I need a burn. Badly. Come on, Claydool. Finally using the defensive sets. Come on. Please tell me it was not for nothing. Oh, yes! <laughs> It is not real. It is not real. Please, only two. Only two. Yes. This means I got another round in me. Hell yeah. Is there a point of setting up rocks? That's the question. For body press and see how little we do. I mean, it's double the damage at least, but... Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. This is, um... Oh, no! What did I do? What did I... No! Oh, no! Only two, only two, only two! No! Oh, no! Now he's plus four. <laughs> and a soul fist on that. Uh, I got a hope on the flash cannon. I. Oh shit, this is. Oh my no. I mean, Scorching Sands was resisted. You know, that's a thing, right? We can, we can, we can go on that. Come on, Nisanug, I need you to work here. Yes! <laughs> it is definitely not over. But, you know, a player up's gonna come and that's gonna be it, really. I just need a chip, though. I just need a chip. I just can't lock myself into... I have to lock myself into Poltergeist and not... Leaf play because then I lose. So we'll see. I hope it does something, right? Uh, definitely not enough. Um, I'm absolutely dead. Leaf Blade guarantees me that I knock this guy out, for sure. But overall, I straight up lose. If I'm very unlucky, this is... Um, this set could be uh, Citrus. And if I go for Poltergeist and don't kill him, I lose anyway. But... Um, it could be interesting if that's happening. Let's see. Come on, Decidueye. He has the citrus. Please be enough to kill, or I'm a sitting absolute duck here. Yes! No way! <laughs> no way, I'm winning this! I got this! Fuck yeah! There is no way in hell! What? No! <laughs> I am absolutely gonna win! <laughs> Come on! Show yourself! Switch in the Marowak! Let me, let me jab it! It still is, you know... There is still one problematic thing. Marowak is still fat. It has a good defense. It is whether or not Poltergeist is enough to break it. If I fail to break it, I'll lose this game anyway. But he's... AJ! Don't stall this out! You won't, you won't be able to do that! I think. Or are you just rage quitting now? Don't do this to me. I need that Marowak out. I gotta beat his silly ass. Because I got the roll. You can't stall this. I got two minutes on my hand. Do not steal this from me. You decided to Dynamax. You decided to break apart this team. And I'm happily able to maybe be on par on this. I'm pretty sure he's stalling the timer. I don't know why. Let's go! Fit club! Yeah, fit club this, you piece of... I could have missed also, but yeah, let's see. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Fucking Decidueye week is on! And he needs it to yes! A perfect game. <laughs> I can't say much more than this. Wow! It was great. 
I probably won't have any other game like this. But I'm just happy I got one of these games. <laughs> anyway, AJ, thank you so much for staying tuned to almost beat me this time, like you did last time when you get absolutely dynamaxed. I'm provoked. I'll happily take my blessings here. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care of one, alright?